I was here living illegally. My visa had run out. I had no status. I was like, oh my God, this isn't cute. I'm a criminal. This is not cool. So I decided to call a lawyer and I was like, hey, uh, I'm Canadian. He was like, do you have any skills? And I was like, no, I'm an actress. And he was like, that's okay. I was like, is there, you know, a visa that I could get to stay here legally so that I could pursue acting? And he was like, you know, actually there is. It's called the Artist of Excellency visa. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. The thing about hippies is that they're not really like organized. <laughs> My mom wasn't really on top of things like paperwork or immigration. She was on top of this dude named Neil. I started to kind of like enjoy it. I started to look forward to lying to the border guard. I got this like sort of rush from doing it. It was like the best acting training you can get. <laughs> I mean, you can keep your Juilliard and your NYU and like whatever school you go to in Australia that makes you that amazing. <laughs> Not just auditioning for the film, you're auditioning for the country. <laughs> yeah, like you just have to like prove that you're really excellent, like be at the level of like Kate from Lost. And I was like, oh, like, Evangeline Lilly, I was like, I don't think I'm at her level, <laughs> you know. And he was like, well, no, you just have to, you know, like, be the lead in a movie or a television series and, like, appear on the cover of magazines. And I was like, oh, that should be super easy. No one in L.A. wants those things. It's an open fucking market. <laughs>